Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Cerebral Angiogram Introduction A cerebral angiogram is a medical test that helps your doctor look at the blood vessels in the brain and neck. If your doctor recommends a cerebral angiogram, the decision on whether to have this procedure is yours. During a cerebral angiogram, your doctor can fix many problems in the blood vessels. This program explains cerebral angiography for a diagnosis and not for any treatment. Cerebral Angiogram In cerebral angiography, the doctor inserts a thin plastic tube into an artery in the leg or arm through a small incision. The doctor guides the plastic tube, called a catheter, to the neck or brain with the help of x-rays. Once the catheter is in the target area, the doctor takes images. The doctor will also inject an iodine-based dye before taking the images. The dye, which is called contrast, helps take clearer images. Cerebral angiography helps your doctor diagnose abnormalities in the brain's blood vessels. These include hardening of the arteries, aneurysms, and AVMs. Cerebral angiography is also recommended for treating many diseases of the brain's blood vessels. However, this program doesn't discuss treatment. Hardening of the arteries, or atherosclerosis, are deposits in the arteries. They can decrease blood flow to the brain. If a piece of the deposit gets dislodged, it can travel to the brain and cause a stroke. An aneurysm is a bulge in an artery that looks like a sac or balloon. The ballooning sac has thinner walls and can explode and can cause bleeding that can be fatal. AVM stands for arteriovenous malformations, which is a tangle of blood vessels. They too can bleed and cause strokes and death. Other conditions that can be identified by cerebral angiography are strokes, brain tumors, and blood clots. When a patient has symptoms of cancer, stroke, or other brain abnormalities, the doctor recommends brain angiography to help with the diagnosis. If a patient has brain surgery scheduled, the neurosurgeon may request brain angiography to help plan the surgery. Before the procedure Your healthcare team will tell you how to prepare for the procedure. They may ask you to stop certain medications. Make sure to tell them of all the medicines and supplements you take. They may also ask you not to eat for up to 8 hours before the procedure. Make sure you understand your instructions. Your procedure may be canceled if you don't follow eating and drinking instructions, as vomiting under anesthesia may cause the vomit to go into your lungs. Make sure to tell your healthcare team if you are allergic to iodine or any anesthetic or substance. Tell them also if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. The Procedure A cerebral angiogram is usually done as an outpatient procedure, which means you can go home after the test is completed. This procedure is done while you are awake because the doctor may give you instructions to hold your breath before the images are taken. You may be given a sedative to relax you, which is why you need somebody to drive you home after the procedure. You will be asked to empty your bladder before the procedure. Then, a nurse will insert an IV line into your hand or arm. The IV line is used to deliver the sedative to relax you. The sedative may cause you not to remember the procedure. However, you will still be awake and able to follow instructions. There is usually no pain involved except feeling pressure when the IV line is inserted and when the catheter is pushed through the small incision. 
You will be asked to lie down on an x-ray table. Your head will be held on a strap so you cannot move it while the x-ray images are taken. The healthcare staff monitors the heart rate, blood pressure, and vital signs during the procedure. The insertion area is then disinfected and made numb with a local anesthetic. The doctor makes a small incision in the groin, wrist, or underarm. The doctor who performs this procedure is either an interventional radiologist, a neurosurgeon, or a neurologist. The catheter is inserted into the artery and threaded up to the neck. Contrast is then injected into the arteries and x-rays are taken. When the contrast is injected, you will feel some warmth in the face. You will be asked to stay still while your healthcare team takes the images. Staying still improved the clarity of the x-ray images. After the angiogram, the catheter is taken out and pressure is applied where the catheter enters the skin to ensure that the site does not bleed. To prevent bleeding, you may need to stay flat and not move your leg on the side of the catheter for at least six to eight hours. Your doctor may use a device to seal the small incision in the artery. This will allow you to recover faster. The nurse will cover the entry site with a dressing. After the procedure, you will be moved to the recovery room where you will be observed for a few hours before returning home. You will be given specific instructions regarding what you need to do to prevent bleeding. Usually, there are no food restrictions, but some limitations exist for 12 to 24 hours regarding the activities you can do. Strenuous activities, such as lifting weight, should be avoided for a day to ensure the incision has healed. Your operating doctor reads the images of the cerebral angiogram and the results are sent to the doctor who requested them, who will discuss them with you. Risks and Complications This procedure is very safe. There are, however, rare risks and complications. You need to know about them just in case they happen. By being informed, you may be able to help your doctor detect complications early. The most important complication, which is fortunately rare, is a stroke. Despite this risk, your doctor feels the procedure's benefits outweigh its risks. X-rays are used during this procedure. The amount of radiation during this test is deemed safe. However, the same amount could be dangerous for unborn children. It is therefore important to tell your doctor if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. Infection at the injection site is rare. The catheter placed in the artery rarely injures the body's blood vessels. The insertion can also cause injury to a nerve in the leg or arm, depending on where the initial insertion was. Some people have allergic reactions to the iodine contrast or the medications used in this procedure. Make sure to tell your doctor about any allergies you have. The contrast may injure the kidneys if you have diabetes or kidney disease. In most cases, the kidneys regain their normal function within five to seven days. If the patient is on glucophage, a diabetes medication, this risk increases. You may be asked to stop some medications before or hold them for some time after angiography. During recovery at home, you should report to your doctor immediately any of the following signs. Redness, swelling, or bleeding at the insertion site. Chest pain or difficulty breathing. Dizziness or imbalance. Rash on your body. Slurred speech. Vision disturbance. Weakness or numbness in the muscles of your face, arms, or legs. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary A cerebral angiogram is a medical test that helps your doctor look at the blood vessels in the brain and neck. The doctor inserts a thin plastic tube or catheter into an artery in the leg or arm through a small incision and threads it to your neck or brain with the help of x-rays. Once the catheter is in the target area, the doctor takes electronic images. 
The doctor may also inject an iodine-based dye before taking the images. The dye, which is called contrast, helps take clearer images. Cerebral angiography helps your doctor diagnose abnormalities in the brain's blood vessels. These include hardening of the arteries, aneurysms, and AVMs. Other conditions that can be identified by cerebral angiography are strokes, brain tumors, and blood clots. Your healthcare team will tell you how to prepare for the procedure, which may include not eating for eight hours before the procedure. A cerebral angiogram is usually done as an outpatient procedure, which means you can go home after the test is completed. This procedure is done while you are awake because the doctor may give you instructions to hold your breath before the images are taken. You may be given a sedative to relax you, which is why you need somebody to drive you home after the procedure. Your operating doctor reads the images of the cerebral angiogram and the results are sent to the doctor who requested them to discuss with you. Cerebral angiography is a safe procedure that allows doctors to diagnose and treat many abnormalities of the blood vessels in the brain. It has specific risks, but fortunately they are rare. Thank you for using Explain.